I've had a lot of trouble with connectivity today. So I don't know if I have anything to really share. Oh, I guess there's a little bit coming up. But, of course, as everybody knows, this afternoon, actually sometime after I came home from my job today, uh, the U.S. House of Representatives, after some debate, passed the House Resolution uh, number 24, which is the impeachment of Donald J. Trump for President Donald J. Trump, I should say, for inciting um, an insurrection, and you can call it sedition, whatever you want to call it. And the vote was a hundred, or no, was 231 to 197 with five not voting. And I think one of the five was that, I think they included that empty seat in Louisiana where that one newly rep newly elected representative passed away from COVID. But anyhow, 10 Republicans had the nerve, the courage, whatever, including um, House Whip Liz Cheney uh, to join the, all of the Democrats that were there to vote. And I think there was only one that wasn't. And I would suspect, and it's been rumored or claimed or reported or whatever, speculated that a whole lot more Republicans would have joined the Democrats. But as we know, through this very dangerous time we are living in in the United States, they are getting death threats. And this morning, let's see if I can find that photo of, let's see. There was uh, a ton of National Guard. I don't know how many they had. And see, this thing's really, really, really uh, very um, slow this afternoon. I don't even know if I can get anything on here. But, yeah, she thanked the National Guard troops ahead of impeachment proceedings. But this is how bad it's gotten, that you have to have the National Guard there because there's all these nut jobs. Not just on the outside, there are nut jobs on the inside, as we know, Gomert and that Bobert or whatever, Bobart or whatever the hell her name is. Uh, all these lunatics that are running around in there. And they're dangerous. They're just as dangerous as the Proud Boys and the Boogaloos and all this other crap the white supremacists and the fake evangelicals and all the rest of the of the Trump uh, cult. But I was thinking today, and I was going to start off this video with this massive book, and I don't think I can even get it on here. I might break the computer, but it needs to be updated, obviously. It's called Facts About the Presidents, and it's been around since I was a kid. And Joseph Nathan Cain uh, created this book. And it's kind of like a, a reference to all kinds of, of trivia about every president. Of course, it only went to Obama, the most recent edition. And I was thinking this book is probably due for a second volume because Donald Trump all by himself would take up probably as much, <laughs> as much, as many pages as the previous 44 presidents put together. But um, he's one for the record books in more ways than one. And I also want to put uh, in the links, uh, I think it was last night, uh, Seth Abramson on Twitter had a big long uh, thing about uh, how... Um, this conspiracy started with the um, um, insurrection on Capitol Hill last week, and it involved a lot of a lot of people. And if I can find that thing, and I will after I get done doing this video, I will have it. Yeah. And. Anyhow, it's going to be interesting how this goes. Of course, oh, good old worthless Mitch. Mitch McConnell is dragging his feet. I mean, he wants he doesn't want anything to do with Trump. And he acts like he doesn't want uh, 
you know, Trump to have, to have the ability to run for president again or for any federal office, but he's dragging his butt and he's going to wait. He's talking like he's going to wait until January 19th when the next uh, group of senators are uh, sworn in or is our group of senators probably is sworn in. Um, so anyhow, it's, it's going to be, again, it's going to be another rough week as we get closer to uh, the inauguration and now they're the right wingers and we're t and I'm not just talking about garden variety. I mean, we're talking the nationalists, the white supremacists, all this shit that used to be before we had all this uh, deregulation of the media. These people were way on the fringes. And now they're more and more mainstream. It's fashionable to be a racist, sexist, xenophobic, violent, screwed up person. If you could call them people. And it's, it's totally f fouled up. But there's worry about every state capital is going to be targeted next next week. And so there's going to be a ton of protection here that's going to be necessary. And it's just, it's real worrisome. So anyway, I thought I'd just make note of it. Yes, the impeachment went through on one count. But who knows when the trial is going to be. But I mean, plenty of Republicans will, senators will vote or they won't show up because they have to have two-thirds of those showing up that are there uh, to convict. But we'll see what happens. 